When we first look at the source data, we're seeing rows and columns. Some of it may not be telling us a very good story in this form. So that's where the analyst comes in and starts experimenting with these rows and columns and trying to grasp what it is that this data is trying to convey. So after a series of creating pivot tables, we might end up with something like this, where we're looking at our vehicles based on a certain type of vehicle. And that gives us a cost indicator, which also shows management, how much they're spending on those particular types of vehicles. And then we can also break it down by the usage of these vehicles in different zones of a city. And that's a good indicator to see which zones are really the most expensive to operate. And then we might also want to look at our human capital and determine, break this down a little bit. And here we are looking at different types of roles that people play during a emergency operation and where those are located. And that too is giving us a good sense of now we're starting to coalesce this data. It's telling us a story in that these drivers are going to be our, our most expensive asset and one that we want to uh, be able to best manage. And we also look over at road treatments and sure enough we can see which particular domes are getting the most action in terms of where are all the vehicles going and that is a good indication as to is that dome fully stocked, supplied, etc. And as we look at all of this information then we can roll it up into some graphics and then from these graphics we can even better see another visual representation as to how we can best manage storm events in this particular case based on some of these different key analytics. And then we wrap it all up into a tidy little menu and making it really easy for leadership to use.